Hello, welcome you all to ITV LK. Now we are going to discuss the questions regarding frequency distribution. First, we will discuss the question which appears in 2018 past paper. The question is, the following frequency distribution shows the marks obtained by 60 students for the three geometric questions on a mathematics paper. So this is a very familiar thing for you all because there are geometric questions in your maths paper and here they have given the marks obtained by 60 students. Now this is the table and you can see it is an incomplete table. They haven't given the number of students with in between the marks 0 and 5 and 5 and 10 and they have given there are 15 students who have obtained marks from 10 to 15 and marks from 15 to 12, 20 there are 12 students and 20 to 25 there are 9 students and from 25 to 30 there are 4 students. Now let's move on to part, question part 1. If equal number of students obtain marks for the class intervals 0 to 5 and 5 to 10 complete the above table. So they have given the total number of students in the class is 60 and the equal number of students have obtained the marks for the class intervals 0 to 5 and 5 to 10. So what you can do is you can add the number of students who have obtained the marks from 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30 and subtract that value from 60. Then you will get how many students are there in between 0 to 10. So the total number of students included in the first two ranges can be obtained by subtracting 15 plus 12 plus 9 plus 4 from 60. That means you are going to subtract 40 from 60 it will be equal to 20. These 20 students are included in the first two ranges and they tell there are equal number of students in these two ranges. Therefore, the number of students in each class interval will be 10. So when you complete the table, it will look like this. The second question is, draw a histogram relevant to the above information. So, when you are drawing the histogram, you know, it, it is something like a bar or column graph that you have learnt in grade 7, but here there are no gaps between the columns and you have to take the class intervals to the x-axis and the number of students to the y-axis and you are going to draw the relevant height of the graphs, height of the columns with respect to the students total. So this will be the graph I have drawn. There are 10 students in between 0 and 5, 10 students in between 5 and 10, 15 students in between 10 and 15, 12 students in between 15 and 20, 9 students in between 20 and 25, 4 students in between 30 and 40. 25 and 30. So this is the histogram that you have to draw. The third part will be draw the frequency polygon on above histogram. So you have to draw the frequency polygon. To draw the frequency polygon you have to mark the midpoints on the top of each column and then you can join. Since it is a polygon they tell it's a frequency polygon you know the definition of a polygon is it is a rectilinear closed figure. So once you mark the middle points of these columns and join them, you will, you will not obtain a polygon. So you have to mark the midpoint of 0 to negative 5 and 30 and 35. Then the histogram, the frequency polygon of the above histogram will look like this. You have to join it using the ruler and it is a closed rectilinear plane figure. 
So, let us move on to the question which appears in 2019 paper. The following is a cumulative frequency curve drawn to represent the lengths of pieces of cloth bought from a cut piece shop. Using the curve, find the median of the distribution. So, this is the frequency curve. Look at the frequency curve and there are 36, there are 36, uh, the cumulative frequency, the last cumulative frequency will be 36 and you know the median is the value which is in the middle. So, to find the mi middle point, I am going to multiply 36 by half, that is, it is in the 18th position. So, you have to find the 18 on the y-axis and come down to the x-axis. So, it will be approximately equal to 24. Some of you might get it as 25. Now, you have to fill in the blanks of the following table. So, here I have filled the blanks with color red and the, they have given the cumulative frequencies. You are going to find the cumulative frequencies by adding the frequencies. That means the first fr cumulative frequency will be 4. Next one you will obtain by adding 8 and 4, it will be 12. So, if I haven't given the value of 16, you have to subtract 20, 12 from 28 to find the missing answer. Therefore, the answer will be 16. And when you subtract 28 from 34, the answer is equal to 6. Therefore, when you fill the table given in the paper, the two blanks will be 16 and 16. 6. Now, you have to draw the histogram for the above distribution on the pair of axes. So, you know we are going to name the x-axis as the class intervals and the y-axis as the length of a piece, sorry, number of pieces, frequencies. So, when you draw this, in the earlier question also we discussed how to draw a histogram. There should be no gaps in between the columns and I have marked the heights of the respective class intervals and this will be the histogram. Now, they ask you to find, draw the frequency polygon. So, here also you have to mark the midpoints of the columns, top, in the top of the columns and then you have to join them smoothly with using a ruler. So, when you draw the hist frequency polygon, it will look like this. Here I have taken the mid value of 0 and negative 10 as negative 5 and marked it and the mid value of 50 and 60 as 55 and I have also marked it and joined to get the frequency polygon. So that's the end of the discussion of the questions relating to theme, theme, frequency distribution and let's meet up in the session to discuss the questions regarding probability.